Hello my dear subscribers and viewers, it's me with you again and I'm very glad to be with you again because I have just survived coronavirus infection and uh, that is the reason for our long break, for the long break in our communication and I'm very sorry for that but I'm very grateful for all of you uh, just because you, you are still with me and you do remember me and that rejoices me very much so today's video will be about my past experience not very pleasant one but I'm going to share what I have seen because I have been beyond for some time and I want to tell you what I have seen and what I have experienced um, because there are very few people who have been on the other side and can tell it and explain what they have seen and uh, I want to ask you to share your comments whether you had similar experiences whether you have seen something sil similar to what I have seen uh, and um, for us to try to compose a common ground common um, experiences common impressions because there are very few people who have them uh, first of all, it was very strange to wake up and to realize that I don't breathe because they used artificial lung ventilation and after that uh, I regained consciousness and uh, doctors tried to make me breathe again, breathe myself. And it was very strange to open your eyes and realize that you are alive, you are alive because you see everything but you don't breathe. Um, and it's it's very weird to feel but doctors made me breathe again breathe myself uh, and I woke up every morning and went to bed every night with a thought that it's very pleasant to have a chance to wake up to have a chance to see the light to see the Sun uh, to be alive again and I'm very grateful. In this video I want to say thank you to all the doctors who uh, made me alive, who helped me to survive because the ambulance came very uh, very fastly. I didn't have to wait for hours because I was out of, of breath already and my heart started aching so uh, I didn't have any time to lose so the ambulance came very fastly and took me to the hospital uh, and the doctors quickly realized what it was and started to help me so i'm very grateful to all of them and i'm very grateful for all the care that was taken for me um, the hospital was not really very comfortable as no hospital is as comfortable as your home but uh, the doctors were very kind and the doctor who helped me to survive the um, main doctor who followed all the um, illness you know, was the best one I have ever met in my life and her name was Hope and when I realized that I was going to faint and perhaps these are my last moments I looked at her and um, hoped that she would help me by the way her uh, name was Hope so I uh, thought that it's not the coincidence that it's my chance and it's my reason to survive, it's my hope to survive but after uh, I woke up uh, I was made breathe again I was taught to breathe again um, without any help uh, and then I came home and um, I had to console myself and uh, uh, just make myself think that one day I will go away from this world I will be on the other side and I started to analyze what I have seen on the other side uh, actually when, when I um, fainted um, uh, I realize now that uh, I was kept alive artificially uh, so uh, it was very cold and dark there and there was such a moment 
uh, when uh, my sister-in-law, my former sister-in-law, who uh, died recently of coronavirus, came to me and said, uh, "Whether you are, uh, are you ready?" And I answered. Well, I'm not ready because it would be very strange to be ready when you are just past 30, a little bit over 30, so it's very strange to be ready to go to the other side. Um, and I told her to go away and she went away looking a little bit irritated. And well, I know that different religions explain um, going to the other side different ways. Uh, some say that you will be reborn uh, in some other creature. Some say that you will go to paradise. Um, Christian religion and Islam uh, tell these things. Well, I do believe in God and uh, I don't think that all that I have seen is everything that I am going to see when I am going to go to the other side. Um, forever but um, I have seen no paradise I have seen no hell I saw an empty dark space absolutely empty and absolutely dark and you can feel that emptiness um, behind you in front of you below your legs above your head everywhere so you are just in the middle of that empty, dark, cold space uh, and you can almost physically feel that coldness and out of that coldness comes a person who is already deceased and asks you whether you are ready to go with uh, her in my case or not. Um, I was lucky to send her away and uh, after that I woke up and I realized that I didn't breathe. That was my experience and actually when my uh, mother-in-law died I saw her go into the same empty, cold space, dark space. Um, and uh, what I'm thinking about now is whether that empty, cold darkness is everything we are going to meet on the other side or is it just a transition to the other side. So if you have any experience of being beyond, please do share your experience in the comments to this video and thank you for being with me today. See you next time, next time with more joyful news and with more joyful content to share with you. Uh, next time we're going to meet to have another Russian language lesson and uh, to share experiences of being joyful and alive. Thank you for staying with me. Yours, Wise Life.